time it is, it is June catalog drop. It's my favorite week of every month. All the goodies and the newness are coming in in boxes and cartons and on trucks and on planes and our stores are absolutely packed as is our warehouse with all this amazing product. So we're gonna run through my absolute favorite pieces from the catalog that I know are going to sell out. So get them while you can because they're hot, hot, hot. Okay, let's start with what I'm wearing. Cleo Bella, you saw this brand. We introduced it in the month of May and it was a home run hit. Such an amazing seller and this blouse I know is going to be absolutely no exception. The color on this is so beautiful. So a little bit of coral, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, that amazing lightweight airy cotton. So it's perfect for this time of year when the temps are really heating up. And then just a simple button front with a, you know, I'd say a little bit looser body. That's one of the things I love about Cleo Bella too. You can tell that this brand is built for warm weather, right? It's nothing too tight, it's not too clingy, but the colors are just amazing. So fun here with just that little, check this out, little bead at the bottom of that great drawstring around the neck. I'm popping it on with one of my favorite new jeans. This is from Citizens of Humanity. No surprise, you guys know how obsessed I am with this denim brand. This is the Daphne. Now, here's what I love about Citizens. They look vintage, they look lived in, they look aged, but they are incredibly comfortable. So if you have not gotten a great pair of just washed down light denim, this would be a really fun one to pop into your closet. It's a straight, not too exaggerated, a little bit of a destructed hem, which I love, so it feels really right for summer. Definitely a higher rise. I am wearing my true size in this one. So didn't need to size down or up in this guy. True size and it's hitting me right at the ankle. For those of you with longer legs, this is gonna be a little bit higher. If you have more petite legs, this is a really easy one just to do a cut on. And then I had to pop on these super fun shoes. So darn cute. It's like a little woven wrap espadrille and I love this shoe because it gives me I mean, I'm gonna wager like a good three inches. So I am a whopping five foot seven when I wear these shoes and I feel like a rock star. I am. They're so fun. So an easy, playful, fun little shoe to wear. Now, another great Cleo Bella top that I have to show you. And what I think makes this special is that it's not necessarily in this one about the print, but it's about all the yummy, yummy details. So beautiful beautiful little almost an eyelet kind of lace meaning it's cotton based it's really light it's really airy it has this great scoop neckline a little bit of a ruffle sleeve so you're getting just a touch of coverage here that same really lovely poplin body so it's really breezy and pin tucking throughout the front gorgeous gorgeous top wear your new bra underneath this guy it is not sheer but you definitely want to wear a new bra under this. I would pop this on with the exact outfit that I'm wearing. Again, true to size in this one. Other fun tops that are popping out of our catalog. I gotta show you this one because I think there's something really interesting about this. So this is from Nation. What I think is so cool about this is that it's a cross between a tee and a woven. So there's great ruffle detail, but in a tee silhouette, this is a nice, heavyweight slub, so it almost feels like a sweatshirt, but light enough that it's still really a tee. It just gives it some good structure and shape. So if you want, you can wear it untucked or you can wear it tucked or even a little half tuck on this would be terrific. Talking about this with my girlfriends last weekend, we hate a crew neck that's super high up. This nation is nice and open. And again, if you're looking for something with a little bit more coverage on your sleeve, this is a great way to go. We've talked a little bit about that sweater tank trend that is happening for summer. I'm gonna give you a little hint. It continues into fall, so keep your eyes out for it. But in the interim, let's talk about the sweater tank. I think this can trip people up. Is it a sweater? Is it a tank? Is it too hot to wear? Is it too cold to wear? What I do when it comes to a sweater tank is I look for lightweight fabrics that I can pop on really easily with a little cutoff or a jean and I wear it just alone. Really simple. We've got two amazing versions 
in our June catalog both absolutely check all those boxes. So really, really lightweight. I love this guy. This is almost like a slub yarn in this one. So it's got that great texture. It almost looks linen-y, but really, really lightweight. This nice open kind of giant color polo. It feels like it might be a little nod to a preppy silhouette, but guess what? That V-neck is super, super sexy. Now what's fun about this, you can do a half tuck on this one, or it is lightweight enough that you can absolutely tuck this in. Now what I think is fun contrast here, of course I love it with a good pair of jeans, but I actually love these more when paired back to a cutoff. So I'm gonna show you some great cutoff options in just a second. Another really fun option, this is from Every, more of a crochet knit. Now you might have seen a little bit of this crochet knit happening out there. I know my daughter is super into it, but I'm always aspiring to, you know, turn it up a level from the 12 year old fashion. And I think this is a great way to embrace this trend without it feeling too young. So a great kind of spin on a chevron nautical stripe in this yummy rich cream back to navy. That slight chevron is crazy, crazy flattering. I also love that the armholes on this are not too deep. So you can wear your normal bra with this one. This is one that I would just leave out. Here's what I think is fun about both of these. I think they are terrific back to a white cutoff. So you might have seen that fun little stories I did about Coastal Grandmother. This absolutely nails the trend, mixing your neutral. So here it is done a little bit more nautical, or you can pair it back this way for something a little bit more clean. How fun is that? Pop on a bucket hat, your little slide, and you are good to go. So cute, right? So fun. This is that cut jean short. I will tell you in the white, it is flying out the door. Always lots of questions about this one. What size do I wear on the Jane cutoff? Do I size up? Do I size down? In the Jane, unlike my normal cut denim, I wear my true size. So in cut denim, I always size down. In cut cutoffs, say that three times fast, I wear my normal size, even in the white. They will stretch a bit, but they're crazy flattering and fun. I like this white version because it's a little bit more clean, not a ton of destruction. So an easy one to kind of dress up, dress down. I've got another really fun piece that I have to show you that I absolutely love back to cutoffs. I'm gonna do a little swap here. And that is this amazing top from Sundry. Now you're like, what? What's so amazing about it? It's a, excuse me, Michael Starr's gang. It's a blue shirt. Like, how exciting can that possibly be? I have to show you the most fun detail about this. Look at that great little stripe underneath the collar and it's also on the cuff. So if you do a little roll on your cuff, if you do a little collar pop, who doesn't love that? This is a really fun way to do it. Now, shirting, we're seeing it, we're loving it. I did that great stories on just the white shirt and how to wear that a multitude of ways. I also love a good poplin shirt. This guy in navy is so rich and it has some fun feminine details. So a little bit of a bracelet sleeve here with some gathering as well as some gathering across the top, which I think is so fun. Now this guy back to a white short, I think this feels crisp and clean and fresh. If I wanted to give this top a little bit of edge, this is where I pair it back to one of my other cutoffs. So here's the Jane, same as the white, but with a little bit of destruction, or you can do your citizens. This is the long Parker. So a little bit more length, you can just see in comparison to the cut. If you want a little bit more, again, this guy has a touch more destruction, I'd say two, than even the Jane. The Jane has that one. This has got a couple hits, including one on the pocket. Both ways to add a little tiny bit of edge to that top. If you don't want it to feel so crisp and clean, love this. Also, when I was in, believe it or not, Cabo a couple weeks ago for vacation, one of the women I was with was wearing this great sundry button down as her cover up and I was like, that's brilliant. How great would this be? Grab your cutoffs, get your little button down, wear it open with your one piece underneath. It was such an easy way to kind of go from beach to drinks and back. She looked terrific in it, and I thought it was such a great way to kind of maximize, especially that vacation packing closet. Okay, I mean, we talked about all this fun that's going on on top. What about on the bottom? So you know we've been talking about denim, 
We've been talking about how much we love our cutoffs all summer, but there are so many fun things happening outside of that world. Check it out. Two great options here, two ways to go. So the first is this yummy, yummy wrap skirt from Free People. The minute I saw this, I was like hook, line, and sinker, sign me up. I love this guy. What I think is really fun about this is that there is a hit of like a really rich navy, almost black. So you can dress it up or dress it down. It's a textural fabric. It's got that wrap silhouette, so you get a little bit of leg showing, really simple. Again, this would be another easy one to throw on over your swimsuit if you are going from beach to farmer's market to lunch, wherever you might be headed, this would be a fun one to bring with you, or you can elevate it with a great tank. I'm gonna show you which one in just a second. Another option is this wide leg pant. So if you're loving that coastal grandmother trend, you love the wide leg breezy pant, but you are more of a color gal, you want some print and pattern in your life, look no further, this Rails pant is for you. What I think is great about this guy, number one, it's more of a cotton hand. So I typically feel like when we see pants like this, they tend to be more synthetic and a little bit more kind of um, structured, if you will. This is a great cotton poplin, so it truly feels like a beach pant. You still get that great smocking around the waistband, pockets, and a wide leg, but it's not crazy, crazy wide. Also a really easy hem if you are petite. Flattering fun, this screams, bring me to a pool party. You can dress this guy up with a great pair of heels or wedges or keep it really simple with a little slide. Same thing here. Now my preferred pairing for both of these is this fantastic Michael Starr's Henley tank. It's got just enough going on, I think, that makes it interesting. So here's what I would do. I would take this great Henley tank, I pair it back to this Rails pant, tuck it in, chic, sophisticated, fun. I would take the white tank and pair it back to this fabulous skirt. Doesn't that feel just summer, easy breezy? This absolutely has to go in whatever vacation you're taking this summer. Get this one in your suitcase. It looks great with a little denim jacket thrown on over it. Completer, and then this tank, so flattering, so fun. It also comes in a great green stripe. Fantastic with a cutoff or a jean. Easy kind of blank slate piece. White feels more casual for a day. You can take the black and dress it up with maybe a great pair of gold statement earrings. And then suddenly you've got a fun little night out look without even trying too hard. So cute. Okay, speaking of night out, we've got some fun events coming our way, right? And in our June catalog, we're talking a lot about occasion dressing. And of course, we all have weddings on the brain. This is the biggest wedding season, I think in 30 years, which is so crazy and so fun. We actually have a wedding this summer. We haven't had one in years. So we're so excited for it. But of course, that leads to the question of what to wear. And if you don't have a wedding, you might have a graduation or a shower or a reunion. They're coming for you. Or just a great get together or party with some friends around a pool or Gosh, name it, it's coming at you. So those calendars are full, what are we wearing? So I've got a couple beautiful options for you. The first thing I wanna talk about is what I consider to be your be all, do all, wear it anywhere and look like a million bucks kind of piece. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous jumpsuit from Every. Now, first of all, let's talk about the color. So yummy, this beautiful kind of amber, cedar, terracotta, warm brown combination is so lovely. Looks great on so many different skin tones. I think the ruffle on this is absolutely gorgeous and a little bit of that coverage on the arm. Bra friendly, it does have a great slit in the back, so just a little peek of skin. I think that looks really sexy and fun. Your V-neck, so very flattering. A small ruffle around the neck, which I find all that does is frame your face, elongate your neck, so pretty. Elastic waistband, so you can play with the blousing on this, and a self-tie belt. It is more of, I'd say like a slightly wide leg, but what's fun about this guy, it's got this little kind of dolphin hem, so a little kick up so it'll show off your favorite pair of shoes. Now, how to wear this guy. Okay, dress it up, keep the self belt on, pop on a pair of heels, a great statement earring in your clutch. This is totally wedding doable. 
want to take it down just a touch and make it a little bit more casual, swap out the self belt for a woven belt, pop on a pair of slides or a more casual like espadrille wedge. This can take you to a fun brunch or a luncheon or a shower. Night out. Mm, that's where I would either swap again out the belt for a black belt or keep the self belt on black shoes to really elevate it, a little black clutch, and you've got a fun night out look. So many ways to wear this guy, and it's incredibly flattering. This is a must. If you have a multitude of occasions in the summer and you want just one thing to do it all, this guy will do it for you. Another great option that kind of falls in that same category is this Michael Starr's one shoulder dress. Now this is a dress you all know, you all love, absolute home run in this one. And when I say that, it's because it does all the things, right? It elongates you, it flatters you, it gives you curves where you don't have them, really helps to skim over the curves where maybe you're not loving them so much. That one shoulder, so sexy. It's always my favorite part to show off. Aside from my ankles, because they always cooperate, right? So a fun way to do this. Questions a lot about what bra to wear with this. I really like doing either a convertible bra that has one strap you can wear or a strapless, or God bless you, if you still have some lift there, then I would just do a little sticky pasty. They work great. Now what's fun about this guy too, dress it up, dress it down. This is a great little dress to wear with a slide, denim jacket, good to go. Also knit, so super packable. Dress it up with an amazing pair of wedges or a heel, big hoop earring, sexy night out or an occasion. So this or the jumpsuit are my two favorite occasion dresses in here. Little wild card for you, of course, you know that I'm always gonna give you a fun, unexpected option, and that's gonna come in the form of a set. Amazing, now here's the deal. One shoulder blouse and this great, kind of paper bag waist short. So elastic here with a bow. You've got this great one shoulder blouse that is more loose on the bottom. I prefer this guy to be tucked in so it looks almost like a romper, but functions like two pieces. So it's a lot easier to get on and off if you have to use the restroom. Someone said to me the other day, do we need a bio break? I thought that was such a smart way of saying, does anyone need to use the bathroom? Like in a meeting felt very respectful and lovely, so I'm gonna start using that. But love this guy. Again, this is another one of those great kind of mustardy amber colors that feels so right right now. Dress it up, dress it down, you know the drill. And of course, I'm always a sucker for a set because you can break it up. Wear this guy with a pair of jeans, killer. Wear this little short with a fun little tank, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Great little outfit there, so many ways to wear it. Okay, a couple more pieces we just had to talk about. Maybe let's talk about one piece dressing. So in the summer when you're running around and you've got so many places to go, I know I just gravitate towards that great dress. And we've got a boatload of fun ones in the gym catalog. Couple of my absolute favorites. We're gonna start with the knit guys. It's another, another Michael Starr's home run. Great, simple tank dress. Now what I love about this it has a slight racer back, but not so much of a racer back. You can't wear a normal bra with it. More open neckline. It's a really lightweight cotton. and such a fun, unexpected color. When I first saw this, I thought it was white and navy. You get to see it a little closer. It is actually this really yummy light blue and black. So a, kind of a riff, I'd say, on that marine nautical trend. Fresh, fun, slides, denim jacket, utility jacket, done. A new and improved favorite. This is from our sundry friends, the scrunch dress. Little busan top, what is busan? Just means it gets to blouse over a little bit, so it's gonna hit you at the waist. You're gonna get that great scrunch skirt and wider straps that are bra friendly. Throw this guy on, it looks just as good after dinner as it does on the beach and in this washed down coral. I think it's so, so fun. You are absolutely gonna love this, I promise. That square back is so flattering and that fully ruched skirt on both sides hugs your curves, gives you a little bit of a tush if you need it, otherwise it just skims over. Really, really flattering and fun. 
And then of course, last but not least, the grand finale, the front cover. This is our favorite Pistola romper. Now we have sold this in the full length. We sold it in the romper with long sleeves and now we've got this great version in short sleeve. Couple things that make this amazing. Number one, I love rolling the sleeve on this one. Gives you just a little bit of definition. It is a lightweight cotton, so really easy breezy. Check out this detail here. It seems like it's just for show, it's not. It gives you a waist, so you can adjust that little tab. There are actually three buttons there to kind of shape more or just to let it be straight. Fun little cuffed bottom, which yes, you can unroll if you want more length. Full buttons all the way down, great little patch pockets. Throw this on instead of a dress or instead of a pair of shorts and a tee. Nailed it, so fun. This guy is a must. You'll have so much fun wearing this, I absolutely promise. <sighs> okay, gang, Jim Catalogs here. So many fun ways to get dressed, so many great ideas. I hope that you get out and shop because this stuff is gonna go fast, fast, fast. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next week. Take care.